Hello and welcome to Arduino Programming and Interfacing. In this video, I am going to tell you about speed control of DC motor with the help of L293 d motor driver IC and Arduino Uno as a board. I have already prepared one video related to speed control of DC motor. If you don't know about the hardware connection and the basic of DC motor and motor driver IC, you can watch my previous video and again come back to here. So in this video, we will accelerate and deaccelerate this DC motor from the serial command that we will receive from the serial monitor and that will be controlling this DC motor. So let's first jump to the code and see what we are going to do and then I will show you the demonstration of this. So this is our code for speed control of DC motor. So initially I have defined the pins for the motor as well as enable. So we have used the 5, 6 for the motor and for enable we have used the pin number 3. Then I have defined the variables. First one is the character that we are going to use for the reading the character from the serial terminal. And this is speed value. With speed value we will set the speed for the motors. Then I have one function init motors. In init motors, initially I have set the direction of all the pin as output and then we have set all the pin as a low. So initially motor will be turn off and then let's jump to void setup. So in void setup, I have used a serial dot begin as 9600. So it will set a baud rate as 9600 and uh, it will print init motor. Then I have set a uh, initial speed as 0 if we are calling that function and then we have called the init motor. Init motor means it will call this part. Now in void loop it will continuously reading the serial terminal. So whatever the character that we will give it to it will read it. So it will read by this command serial dot read and it will store into this character cs. Now we are using a switch. So if the character is s then it will start the motor. Now start motor means it will just enable the pin, enable pin as a high. So it will, the motor is not going to rotate, but it will just enable, it will just give a power to the motor. And then if we are writing H, then it will stop the motor as well as if it will stop the rotation of the motor and set the speed value as zero. If you are writing F, so first if you are let's say writing S, and then if you are writing F, then it will set the motor direction in a forward direction and it will also rotate the motor. Similarly, if you will write R, so it will move the motor into reverse direction and we will also see the motor as reverse in the serial terminal. Now, this is what I was talking about. Uh, this is for the acceleration. Let's say we want to automatically accelerate the motor from 0 to 255. So initially in this for loop, it will write analog write enable pin as 0, then 1, 2 and so on up to 255. Your motor will start from 0 speed to full speed that is at the 255. So this is what we mean by ramping or the acceleration. And if you want a manual ramping, then we can use this plus sign. So initially the motor speed will be 0. Then with the help of this plus sign, we can increase it by the 10 and so on. We can reach up to 255 at which the speed will be maximum. Of course, you can use the 5 over here instead of 10 if you want to reach to the 255. So we can at least go to 250 with the help of this. If you will write more than 250 or 255, then we will see that motor will be stop again because the range of this is 0 to 255, this analog write. Okay. Now for case minus, again we will deaccelerate, the speed of motor is going to be low and by the 10. So that's how we are going to control this DC motor. I am going to upload this code to our board and we will see the demonstration now. So here we go. First we will select the board as Arduino Uno and then we will select the COM port and I will just click on upload. So you can see that done uploading. Now we can just open our serial monitor over here. So you can see first init motor. 
now let's say you want to set the direction as a forward so i will write f and you can see that the motor is not right now moving but we have set the direction as forward and if you want to start a motor you can send s so i will press enter and you can see that motor is moving in a forward direction if you want to stop we can send h so you can see that now motor is stop similarly if you want in reverse direction then you can send r and again you can start the motor so you can see that the direction is reverse i am again going to stop this motor and uh, now let again the direction set as forward and now let's accelerate it so you will see that initially it will not move at the highest speed but gradually it will reach to the maximum speed so here you go so then we have the motor acceleration after the power loop is complete so this is the maximum speed initially it was moving from zero to the some speed okay now let's again stop it now let's see the function plus so again i will set the direction as forward it is already forward but for just uh, confirmation we are saying it is a forward and then i will set plus so you can see that the speed value is 10 it is not moving at this speed but we will increase and uh, i have noted that it will start after the 100 or 90 so if i will keep uh, 4 to 5 per plus then it will be at 70 now then 80 90 and now you can see that the motor is little bit moving and after 100 yes now it is moving and it is now started moving so this is little bit uh, slower speed compared to the maximum speed now if we will keep on increasing you can see that now the speed is increasing maybe with the help of sound as well as the visualization so this is the maximum speed now if i will give one more then it is going to be stopped because 255 is the limit let's see yeah here we go the motor is stopped actually it is at 5 so if you want to de-ramp it this de-accelerate it then i will give the minus and again it's moving it's moving fine let's say i will give lots of minus so now 100 at 100 also it is moving you can see that the speed has suddenly dropped and again let's say 90 again 90 at 90 it is moving at very slow speed 80 i think it is going to be stopped now uh, yeah yeah so it will depend upon the motor it will depend upon the motor and uh, this is how you can control the speed of dc motor i hope this video is helpful to you please don't forget to subscribe this channel and also give your feedback in the comment i need your feedback that is very important if you have any question if you have any doubt you can ask me in the comment thank you so much for watching this video